Hey there, Chris Wales here, and today I want to quickly show you something that a surprising amount of people don't seem to know about, and that is the new blue third-party effects and transitions that you get as part of your Lightworks subscription, and that includes free. So I'm going to show you how you can download and install them today. So let's go and have a look. So on the Lightworks website, all you got to do is you log in, put in your login information and select login. So here you can see where you can upgrade your license. But on the left hand side, you'll see that there is a downloads button. And if we go along here to third party products, you'll see each of these new blue add ons that we can add in dependent on which license you're on. So even free users get access to new blue transitions. And to download and install them into Lightworks, all you have to do is press the download button, dependent on which system you're on. And once it's downloaded, click on the file, go through the setup, watch it install, or go make yourself a cup of tea. And then once it's all finished installing, and what you'll find is this will open up. And once you get there, all you've got to do is sign in with your Lightworks account. It will load up a license and then we open up Lightworks, open up one of our projects. All we've got to do is go up to transitions and you'll see there is a metric ton now of way more transitions than you may be used to seeing. So, and all you've got to do to have a look at them is just hold your mouse over them and you'll see little examples of what all of these effects are doing. So let's have a go and put a couple in. Oh, 3D box fold. All right, let's plonk that one in. Oh, look, looks like it's stressing him out there. Let's have a look at another one. Let's go down. Let's, let's have a look at some of the more kind of crazy ones. Oh, Glow Pro. Let's do this one. As cheesy as some of the effects can be, sometimes you'll find that there might just be the right moment for a good cheesy effect or a fun little one. So I encourage you to just have an experiment and have a little play. Let's have a look at a few more. We have, what's metallic? Let's have a look at metallic. Oh, look at that. He turns into like the Terminator 2 man on that one. That's brilliant. Obviously, there are a lot more kind of um, normal ones as well, like sheer. There we go. You know, you can kind of add that with a nice little transition. That's quite a good like, oh, yeah, you know, he's been drinking a lot. And oh, the hangover of all that work. There are always different creative opportunities that you can do with these kinds of things. Oh, let's have a look at, let's have a look at Twirl. Oh, very nice. What about Vivid? Oh, that one could work quite well. That's quite good for a dream sequence. There's also numerous ways that you can change the length of each of these transitions. All you've got to do is you can go down here and this will allow you to change exactly how long you want so that's seconds and frames and dependent on what kind of sequence you've got so we can see here the frame rate here is 25 frames per second so what we'll do is so that is basically pretty much one second so let's go 1.24 so that is almost just under one frame from two seconds and let's let's add in a long shredder effect over these two so let's see how that goes and then long shredder effect. Obviously, dependent on how fast your computer is, these effects may look a bit slower when you're in preview, but by the time you've exported it, they'll look all fine. So another way that you can change the length of these transitions is, let's do something like 3D grid fall away. You can drag it on, and then we're making sure nothing's clicked, you can go to the edit point, click on the far end so you get a little symbol here, and then you can just drag it and use it as an edit point between these two clips. So let's extend this out. Let's close that edit. Click this. Click on this corner again. So you get this symbol. And then let's just drag that one along. So now this is quite a long effect. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Oh, sorry. Let's close the cut there. Press play. And... Obviously, some of those effects would be way cheesier than others, but there's always an opportunity to have a bit of cheese, to have a bit of fun in some of the videos that you're making, dependent on what they're about. So today, we had a look into downloading some of the new blue third-party effects, how to get it all set up in your Lightworks system, as well as having a look at some of the new blue transitions that everyone can get, even if you're on a free license, and how you can change the length of them and plonk them on your clips. And in the meantime, please feel free to check out our website as well as our forum for any more information and tutorials and other things. And as always, keep making videos.